hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how i do these bohemian butterfly locks on short hair now her hair is not short the whole head is just short literally on one spot but i wanted to show you guys that you can use the same method if their hair is super super short on all of their hair the spot that i am doing it's literally like one inch long hair you guys so i'm gonna let you guys know how you do butterfly locks on hair that is super super short okay um i am going to show how you do other locks a few other locks in the back just to kind of make this video you know i'm just a little bit better just in case you are just not running across my channel um yeah so i just want to let you guys show you guys how i do other locks as well when her when your hair is still short but a little bit longer than the one inch i think her hair her hair is like about four or five inches all over um especially in the back um, it's probably a little longer at the top in the front, but yes. Yeah. So like I said, this video, the beginning of this video is basically going to show you guys how you do it on super, super short hair. Um, yeah. So if you guys are interested and in, go ahead and continue watching and do not forget to subscribe. Um, the product I'm using is the Shine and Jam, Jam, of course. I use this on all my clients and most of my clients are natural. And as you guys can see, her hair is pretty full, it's pretty thick, um, but she does have a spot in the back where it's super, super short. So um how i'm going to use that you guys see right now it's like one one and a half inches long and yeah so what you want to do is you're going to always want to box braid the hair under locks to give it that foundation but since her hair is super super short you're going to use um the, the cuban twist hair and i'm literally just going to grab one strand cut that strand in half as you guys can see and then grab one half of the strands that i cut and I'm going to literally piece that apart. So I'm going to grab a small piece of the Cuban twist hair. And that's what I'm going to use to box braid it. Now, um, I did split that little piece into half. Like when you start a box braid, like a regular box braid, where you have those, you know, three pieces and then you fold one piece into the other piece, um, etc. But yeah, so that's how I started off the braid. Literally like I would start off a regular box braid, but I'm just doing it with the Cuban twist hair. When the hair is short like that, you're going to want to grip the roots pretty, pretty snug. And you're going to also want to make sure that you are close to the root, okay? Because for the simple fact that um, you're not going to want that Cuban twist hair to slip out. So, yes, and you don't have to braid a long time. You literally just braid a little past where the hair stops and just let the rest of the hair hang, okay? Um, so that is how basically, you know, her hair looks when I am finished with box braiding the whole thing. And that is the hair fluffed out that I'm going to use in her hair today. So back to the short piece that I am doing. That is the only piece that has the Cuban twist hair. I think the, the back row is the pieces that have the Cuban twist hair. And that is because the back row is the shortest part of her hair. So, okay, so I'm literally... Um, the link of the hair will be in the description box below, like always. And I did 53 locks onto her hair, okay? It took me about five and a half, six hours to do her hair. And I used the color number four, and that gives it a good medium brown color. So in real time, I'm just showing you guys how I do the butterfly locks. I'm using one, one strand of hair, and I crocheted it onto the root. And then I grabbed her hair with mixed with the cuban hair and then i grabbed that curly um water wave hair on one hand and then i literally just wrap going from the left hand side only because i'm left-handed um but when it comes to the butterfly locks i realized that in order for it to literally look super butterfly um you're going to want to stick your thumb through the entire time sticking the thumb through the entire time makes it butterfly Sticking a thumb through sometimes makes it bohemian and distressed. But the butterfly method is you literally sticking your thumb through the whole time. So you guys can see it looks super, super distressed and super butterfly -y. Okay, so I figured out where I want to stop that. And then I, you know, wrapped there a couple times and then started wrapping back up and sealed it with nail glue. Um, Yeah, so... And then the leftover hair, I just wrapped that back up and sewed it with nail glue as well. And I'm just doing this, the uh, the next strand the same exact way. This strand has the Cuban twist Miley hair as well. 
um oh i did forget to mention that i do cut the molly hair when i am done wrapping just so the molly hair won't get wrapped up into the hair i don't want that molly hair texture mixed in with that curly hair texture in the wrapping part but yes you guys see i'm sticking my thumb through the entire time and i'm getting super super loopy super super butterfly e type of look with the locks and she did love this style this is the first time trying locks and she just loved it i think it looked really really nice on her but yeah so as you guys can see i'm just sticking my thumb through i stopped so i probably was just yapping my gums girl probably just talking but yeah so um oh no we're trying to figure out like if that length is fine and she said yeah that length was fine so um yes yeah, so i'm just sticking my thumb through the whole time some loops will be big some loops will be small but there will be loops throughout the whole tire lock okay so i'm literally sticking my thumb through and you're going to want to stick your thumb through and you're going to want to when you wrap i people say you wrap loosely i don't really wrap loose i wrap pretty tight if i'm going to be honest because i want that loop to stay so I feel like if you if you have a loop with every little turn and you're wrapping tight, that keeps the loop there, you know, and you still have that butterfly look, but you'll have a secure lock. But like I said, some people say they they wrap loose, but wrapping loose with this water wave hair, to me, it's like a recipe for disaster because it even though it'll it'll look cute like right there that day, I feel like it won't last. So, but that's just my opinion yeah so i figured out where i want to stop i actually, i'm actually adding another piece of that water wave hair sorry that i'm out of frame but i literally cut one piece i grabbed one piece of the water wave hair and cut it in half and i'm just adding that to the bottom because i think i wanted more thickness at the bottom to wrap back up so she can have that weight at the bottom um and sometimes i don't know if people notice like with butterfly locks and distress locks if you don't have that weight at the bottom like where it's like more hair at the bottom of the lock than the top of the lock the hair won't like fall like you know the way you want it to the hair will be kind of like spiders like it just be spider legs it just be everywhere but if you have that weight at the bottom that allows the locks to just kind of lay you know with the gravity and just have the lock just fall in place the way you want it to but yeah so um I cut that Marley hair off because I think the Marley hair was left. And then I'm just wrapping that free tress hair. I don't even think it's free tress, but I know it's water wave. Um, I'm, wrap I'm wrapping that water wave hair back up and then I'm sealing it with nail glue. Some people don't like to seal with nail glue. I do because it just gives me more security and a more peace of mind knowing that the wrap is not going, the lock is not going anywhere, okay? But yes, guys, so just go ahead and just look the rest of the time. You're going to see me, like I said, snip, snip the Marley hair off. You're going to see me wrap and everything. I just wanted to show you guys the concept is still pretty much the same when you have super, super short hair. I know a lot of people don't like doing hair that is shorter than three inches. But like I told you guys, I do hair that is shorter than three inches. Okay. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and just finish listening to the music and finish watching the tutorial and you'll see the end result. Um, and it is a bomb. OK, love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I will see you guys in my next video.
Ryan Little.